Closing out the weekend here, CSR on WZ. You can also check it out on YouTube, Facebook. Share it, comment, like it. You know you want as much as you can get. Josh Eisenberg, Justin Labar here debating a little bit. Josh, let's start off with the uh, SmackDown roster, the state of such. And let's talk about the lack of SmackDown main event stars. Is that really a, re is that a reality or, or are we just making too much of it? I think it's actually a reality, Justin, especially whenever you're looking at talent right now at WrestleMania. Aside from where AJ Styles will land, which, you know, we're not sure, like you guys discussed this week, if it's going to be Shane, maybe it's not Shane McMahon. Um, aside from that, you have John Cena in a mixed tag team match at WrestleMania. You can pretty much pencil that in. And then you have the championship match. But other than that, is there even going to be a match from SmackDown that's on the actual WrestleMania card? They have four hours, but I see a lot of those matches potentially going on the two-hour pre-show, including every championship on SmackDown except for the World Championship. I mean, you look at it like this, Justin. They have a lot of guys who can be good, but they're not completely there yet. They're getting you – know, no offense to your boy Luke Harper, but if you would have told me six months ago that that's the leading guy going into WrestleMania in the main event for the championship match, I'd be shocked. I'd say this is the guy that you're going to rely on? Not saying he's not worthy of it, but when you see Luke Harper, Bray Wyatt, and Randy Orton as the three guys on SmackDown and then adding in AJ Styles – at WrestleMania, uh, you know, whatever match he goes to, there is a depleted lineup of main event talent, and there's a depleted lineup of tag teams on SmackDown. Well, no, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I agree. I mean, you know, it's no disrespect to Harper's talent. I think maybe if you told him, if you told him six months ago that he'd be the guy uh, going in, uh, you know, on top of SmackDown to Mania, he might be a little bit shocked. But uh, I look, I, I don't. I think it's more, I think the result of what we're talking about is more of a few things that uh, we're not touching off. One, SmackDown is just a shorter show. Uh, it's, it's shorter in length, so obviously there's going to be less uh, talent, less big name talent invested in it. I think also to look at as, as, as well as SmackDown has, has been performing, as entertaining as it's been, it's probably never going to break out of the internal memo stigma, at least as long as Vince is the final say that it's still secondary. Raw is always number one. Yeah. So therefore, when you have a Brock Lesnar and a Goldberg, when you have two part-time guys like that, where are they going to appear on? The Raw brand. Sting, Raw brand. Uh, Undertaker, wh what we thought was SmackDown back in the fall, now all of a sudden he appears that he's Raw brand. So it, it, whether it's because it's the three hour in length, whether it's because it's Monday Night Raw, the longest run running episodic show, or a combination of all that, it's just the fact that Raw is always going to get more uh, you know, more pieces to play with. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, there's been um, discussion of trades. Is there a guy on Raw that could easily fit into SmackDown's main event storyline come after WrestleMania? I, I think there's a handful of guys on Raw that would love to yeah. make the move to SmackDown. You've always heard the names like Sami Zayn and Cesaro right. and those guys, but they don't have – they have John Cena, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and a bunch of maybes, and that's not a good thing. I, I think Roman Reigns post-WrestleMania could fit on yeah. SmackDown really well. I think so, too. I think he'd be a good fit there, and he's catering to the crowd. You know, SmackDown's always going to be maybe a little bit of a smaller arena than what Raw is usually built in, and SmackDown's always known as a fan-friendly show. As much as they want to make SmackDown as more cutting-edge as Raw is, it's just it's never going to be like that. It's never viewed like that by WWE management. Yeah, I, I think Roman Reigns could fit. I think there's a lot of uh, – I think that'll certainly be a future CSR episode as we get closer to Mania. Mania Week is uh, what possible trades could be uh, in the new calendar yeah. year that is – WWE. Okay, new calendar year that is WWE, which starts the night after Mania. Obviously, that week always triggers uh, surprises and reappear and uh, you know re returns, re-debuts, everything like that. Finn Balor is one guy we've all been wanting to know what's going to happen with him. Injured, obviously, at, at SummerSlam. Uh, you know, j just j j spoiler alert. Just just had some resurfacing recently. Uh, what is the future here immediately for Finn Balor? Mark my words, Labar, Finn Balor will be wrestling at WrestleMania. I'm not sure who. I'm not sure what the storyline is. But Finn Balor needs to be involved at WrestleMania, even though the card is already going to be stacked. Well, with Triple H and Seth Rollins, which I think we both could agree that that's going to take place at WrestleMania and having the Owens-Jericho. There's going to be a spot for Finn Balor, and I think the spot for Finn Balor where he, where he can shine the most is against Samoa Joe. Um, especially considering Triple H has um, been boys with all of these NXT talents since coming up to Raw, whether it's Owens and Rollins and Joe and Balor. I mean, you know the history that Triple H has had with these successful NXT stars transitioning to Raw. 
I do think Samoa Joe and Finn Balor, although they had such a great feud in NXT, that could be spotlighted a hundred times more on the grand stage in Orlando. The only fear that I have about that match is I'm not sure who should win. I think Samoa Joe should win, but with Finn Balor returning, how can you have him win and then make Samoa Joe look just as dominant, just as destructive, but suffering a loss at WrestleMania? You see, I'd be more inclined. I think, I think WrestleMania is already so packed. It's already so long. You know, you want... Oh, come on, no, the bar. Look. Get Really? Come look. on. Finn Balor, if he's cleared, he needs to no, be there. No, look, if he's, if he's clear, let him get a few more weeks of... Uh, uh, of, even if he's working non-televised live events, save him for the night after Mania. There is no need to shotgun rush You're him. You're insane. No need to shotgun rush him into a Mania match. Not at all. What the hell does shotgun rushing? What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Shock. I've never you know, heard that phrase a beer? before. Muttered by shotgun you. a beer. Yeah, and nobody can do it faster than me. But I've never heard of shotgun rushing. That's not one of your best realities, there, bud. Come well, on. you know what I mean. We don't. We don't need better a than fast that. track him. We don't need a fast lane him. We don't need to expedite him. We don't need to express lane him. That's better. We don't need to rush That's him. Better, we don't but, need to rush him. Let well, let him have a little bit more rest night after mania. That's what we need for him. How much rest does he need? Have you seen those abs? They're just as good as mine, Justin. Did you see that picture? Uh, of your abs no. or his? Well, I mean, you could really swap my head on his body, and it would be obviously very, very similar. Yeah, well, uh, we'll I'll have our CS, no? I'll have our CSR Photoshop team get right on that. Well, look, quick question: How, What do you think about this Kevin Owens beard I have growing on? This is probably the longest you've ever seen it, Labar. Thanks for complimenting. Yeah, it me. only took you 29 years for it not to grow on patchy. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> all right, chair shot reality, WrestleZone.com. Uh, next week, I think we're going to be off. It's a little spring break time, but we will definitely have our predictions one way or the other via WrestleZone.com as we approach Fastlane and Millie Walk. Hey, for Josh, Juice, Rennell, I'm Justin. We'll see you next week. Or not.